A massive claim that has been made by the Tibet government as uh, Penpa Sering, the president of the Tibetan government in exile, was in Washington to meet the top officials of the Biden administration and members of the U.S. Congress, saying that things changed in India since 2014. He said, and I quote, I think India has changed its policy by not repeating that Tibet is a part of China because India's position is that India has to abide by the one China policy, then China also has to abide by one India policy regarding Kashmir. This was the statement that was made. The head of the Tibetan government in exile making a comment on India's position towards Tibet and saying that New Delhi has changed it after 2014. Well, this was a rare visit to Washington to meet the U.S. State Department, uh, the head of the Central Tibetan Authority, discussing many issues that are prevailing in the Tibetan region and also making a comment on a change in India's stance, saying after 2014, there has been a change in the stance of India. So this is the update that we are getting you, the statement that was made by Tibet on India's stance since 2014, changing. And uh, the head of the Tibet government in exile saying that India's position towards Tibet has changed. We have uh, Shrinjar uh, live with us. Shrinjar, this was a rare visit and a statement on India's changed stance since 2014. Well, actually, the stance, uh, stance has not changed all that much. The point India is making again and again is that India has recognized uh, that Tibet is part of China, and that continues to be so. The point is the Dalai Lama and all Tibetans are welcome in India. Each and every Tibetan who seeks refuge in India is welcome. And about that, there is no question. The Tibetans are our friends. India's friends and they are welcome in India. That is, there is no question about that. But to say that India's position since 2014 has changed is actually stretching the point a little bit. Okay, all right. We have Maru Fraza also joining us. Mr. Maru Fraza, how do you look at this statement that the head of the Tibetan government in exile has made? Well, it's an important statement uh, coming as it is uh, from a very senior uh, member of the Tibetan government. Uh, the point uh, that Shinjoy was laboring on was basically because at Pandit Nehru's time, uh, there was a strategic error that was made in which the Panchil Treaty was referred to as a treaty uh, between India and China and uh, Tibet as a region of China. So that was an acknowledgement that Tibet is part of China's territories because from the early 50s, China had begun to expand and taken control of Tibet. But I think uh, with the dynamics having changed so dramatically over the years, there is no reason why we cannot change our stance over it because virtually everything to do with the Panchil Treaty is really not in place anymore. And uh, China doesn't respect any of the agreements that are in place between India and China, particularly on the boundary issue. They keep raising questions, and when they've made offers earlier about the McMahon line and the line of actual control. Okay. So we can also raise questions about why is China illegal occupation of Tibet. The only error, I believe, that had taken place is that okay. nobody, nobody, and India included, had recognized Tibet as an independent state and therefore if it's not a recognized state right. then somebody else occupying it uh, is not flouting international convention uh, the second aspect is that uh, the modi government has taken a firm stand vis-a-vis -vis chinese incursions however uh, we have still been cautious about not upsetting the chinese on a number of areas for example uh, we have still been hesitant to engage with Taiwan. Okay. Which China has its eyes on, and Taiwan has been desperate to seek engagement with us. It has a massive economy, and uh, only a handful of countries engage with Taiwan for fear of upsetting China. So right. I think we should get this thing out of our system of trying not to upset China, and we should do what suits our interests. And if push comes to shove, 
Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Maruf Raza, thank you for joining us with your insights on that. That's all we have time for. We slip into a short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.